Alright guys, so now we have some high quality video footage of Classic Physique Mr. Olympia pre-judging and this is your top 3. Uh, you have Chris Bumstead on the left, Brion Ains in the middle and George Peterson on the right. So if you take a look at these 3 physiques, in this pose right here, side chest, Chris dominates the stage. He has the broadest shoulders and he has the best developed chest and his physique is super classic so it flows so well. But uh, then we move on to some other poses, for example, back double bicep right here. That weak pose for Chris. His back is not that good, especially not compared to George Peterson and Brian Ainsley. Now, you can say that his physique is more classic because there is a smaller waist. But what we saw at the Arnold Classic, George Peterson beating Steve Lorius, what does that mean? That means that classic lines is not that important factor. What is more important is the muscle density, details throughout the physique, completeness, muscle maturity, basically the same things as in bodybuilding, only the conditioning is too important, because you have a weight cap and you need to be as shredded as possible. Look at it here, I mean, Chris is definitely the most classic guy right here, but his back is not as complete, not as thick, as full, as Brian's and as George's, or his glutes and his hamstrings. We're talking about the classic physique. Chris brought an amazing package. This is really mind-blowing, look at his abs and thighs. Look at the vacuum, really amazing physique, Chris really brought it, I mean, I was expecting him not to be this sharp, but he really came conditioned. The only problem is look at it here, I mean, look at the fullness and the completeness of the back. A huge difference, and this is why I don't think Chris will win. If the competition was judged based on who is the most classic, who has the most aesthetic physique, then yeah, Chris would win. Right now he's in the middle, but that does not mean that he's leading, not necessarily though. That means the judges probably want to compare him to both of these guys. Could mean that they are thinking that Chris deserves to be third. But look at the absent ties with George Peterson. <laughs> this is just funny. No, no, no way. No way. Chris must be at least second. Because of this. Because of this physique. Look at it, that small, tiny, non-existent waist. Such a perfect classic physique. Honestly, guys, I love men's open. Chris's physique is my main motivation. Honestly, that's what I'm striving for. Now, these short biceps are also hurting him a little, but look at the lats, look at the small waist. The entire physique flows so well. But Brian is just more complete, has better back, he's absolutely destroying him from the back. George Peterson is also doing that, but from the front, he's definitely not classic at all. I mean, look at him here. Too blocky, too blocky. No way he can beat Chris, just because of the blockiness. But he's definitely more muscular and more thick. So, I think it's going to be Brian first, Chris second, George Peterson, just like last year. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this high quality video, like it. If you want to see more videos, I'm going to bury you with content when the Mr. Olympia finals start. So, please subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.